Yeah. Oh. Eat the shocks, eat the rules now, and how does it feel? Ah, oh, fantastic. Uh, just want to congratulate my staff and, and the team for yeah, really putting huge effort. I mean, really worked hard for this. Uh, then they fully deserve this. Um, yeah, fantastic feeling. I mean, I mean, obvious, the obvious question is after yesterday's decision, how does you guys feel? I mean, at some point you're going to be losing a lot of these guys, uh, even though there is a future. Yeah. Just how you going to... Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a disappointment, but uh, uh, I think we never, we never spoke about um, this whole issue. I think we were entirely focused on, on, on our task today. It's a, it's a huge privilege to be playing Super Rugby. Um, yeah, and we thank for the opportunity. We've learned a lot of lessons, and I think as, as coaches and players, we've grown a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we're in the situation now, and um, we're, not, we're still not clear what's, how it's going to evolve, but um, we just want to enjoy the special feeling. I think the guys have, um, have showed that this year they, they enjoy being together from the Australian Tour uh, to Argentina and, and getting back here. We spend some time together and there's, there's, a, there's a, a close bond between the guys and they really, really enjoy being together. And uh, yeah, it shows just that it's not always um, about, um, about what you do on the training field, but it's, it's also what you do in terms of your culture and in terms of creating something where people uh, feeling special and they and they want to be together and, and that makes a huge difference um, and at this moment we're just enjoying each other's company and we're just enjoying this ride and, and looking forward to to give our best next week again. Dion, um, people have probably called you crazy mm -hmm. or even uh, someone doesn't know what they're doing when you got Lionel out of the happy world is what you say about his sort of performance um, today. Uh, uh, it was, it's sad to hear that because um, I've, I mean, I've coached Lionel in, in 2000, 2009. We've been for the SA under 20 to Japan, and I remember the game we against France. We were 20 nil down, and we looked up for someone to change the game for us. And Lionel put up his hand. And I'll never forget that picture. And when we walked into each other again on the airport in, in, in Cape Town, it was a, it was just a, a natural choice that um, that I, I mean, he came he come from from from. Um, the area, the Eastern Cape, and I knew that he's he's got the qualities not just as as a, um, a player in terms of his of, of his skills, but also in terms of his, his knowledge about the game and uh, um, his personality in terms of leading the guys on and off field. And I mean, for someone that has come through all through the ranks of of of, of Eastern Province rugby and South African rugby, we can't allow this talent to just get lost along the way. And I mean, he's a, a testimony, an example of of people who just need to get a, a get an opportunity and and, 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 and to show their worth. Um, uh, you can also, I mean, we can also use um, uh, Majola, the uh, Alusi prop tonight that played. I mean, he also played in under 20. I haven't played in a long time. Um, I've got him in now, and I think he had an excellent game tonight. It was his second second game at Super Rugby, and uh, yeah, I think the. Uh, the examples goes on. It's only about opportunity, believing in people, and putting an environment together where people can express themselves. Uh, the rest will take care of themselves. You know, as players, after receiving news that by the team won't be able to take part in next year's competition, how did you take it as players? Uh, uh, this whole season has been to play for the self-respect and to get the respect of the players around you and, and to earn the respect of yourself and to show your, your worth to yourself before you can you know, worry about external factors that you've got no control over. Um, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. We can only look forward to it, like we have looked forward to this Super Rugby campaign when it started out. Um, we can only look forward to it. There's nothing, there's, we can't be negative about it. We have to be positive about it. We have to look forward to it. It's a new venture. Um, there's a lot of positives that can come out of it, and that's, that's what we choose to focus on. Mm. And that's what our team is built on, is being positive, enjoying it, enjoying each other's environment, and whatever um, circumstance or competition we'll be in, we're going to look to be competitive and to enjoy our rugby and play for each other. Arnold, was, was it lekker om a dag nadat jylle die bevestiging gekry het, so in behoftes te kom leven vir jylle? 
Ja, ek dink persoonlijk, dit was nie net noodwendig um, oor die nees wat ons gister gekry het. Die, um, ons, het ons doel vir die week was, ons het in Singapore gewen, ons het in Australië gewen, ons het in Suid-Afrikaanse span by die huis gewen. So vir ons, ons mikpunk vir die week was om uh, Suid-Afrikaanse span um, weg van die huis af te wen. En dis wat ons wil doen vandag en ons is net blij daar oor. Yeah, unfortunately, um, uh, that's a decision that I had to make some time back. Um, um, I've spoken to coach. I'd like to come back to the Eastern Cape to represent them again. Um, um, I come from a background where I need to be loyal to people who entrust me with, with opportunity. And um, I'd like to come back and, and give more back to the Eastern Cape after that. So if that opportunity arises, I'd love to do that. This team is now one in Loftus, one in Sydney, one in the Buenos Aires. They, and tonight was very apparent that you know, it could easily have been a game where you ended up losing by one point and anyone would have said, real gutsy effort, well done guys. Mm. How, how have they gone from a team of underdogs that has played really well without necessarily getting over the line to now the guys are winning those tight games mm. and they're actually putting those games through? I think I spoke this uh, this morning to them about um, when I looked at the Lions um, All Blacks test. Um, it's 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 almost there's not a big difference between the Lions and and the and the type of team that we are uh, talented players that have been put together to go and play in a tournament in a series, um, but they got together. Um, it's actually also a Mission Impossible. They got together to the common goal and, and almost achieved the, 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 uh, this, that what people thought was impossible and uh, for us from the start I think we worked hard on getting a common goal in terms of what we want. Secondly, um, we, are, we understood clearly as a team that we've, we've laid down a clear plan in terms of how we want to play the game um, by looking at the type of players that we have and never looking back in terms of working consistently to improve on that. And um, I've got some excellent coaches around me. It's never a one-man show. People that, that um, I mean, that work very hard behind the scenes and have, um, have done some brilliant work that, um, uh, that contributed to the fact that, um, that I could just steer the ship in the, in the right direction and, and gave my input. And we also have a very, very strong focus on, on a player, player-driven culture. So we've, we've put things in place. And as time went on, we just slowly let the players um, start taking responsibility and accountability for for their own for their planning, for the implementation, for running the standard on the training field, for ensuring that they make proper decisions on the on, on, on the field of play. And you could see tonight, I mean, I've never doubted and I don't want to say sit here and think that or, or say things differently, but I've never doubted that we could win the game. Because I, I um I I I just knew that if we if we stick to our, our kickoff plan, just get the ball back, um, we might uh, get a good uh, territory advantage, or they will concede a penalty for us to, to kick, and uh, and it just happened like that. So it was just like a uh, that was that was that was part of things that I think that can only happen where where players are have confidence and, and have a clear understanding of what needs to be done, and also play for each other, um, um, and and. Ah, and, and that is it. It was a, it was a brilliant team effort. Do you know how big is the next week's game? I mean, it is your last two Super Bowls, but considering what you guys have done this season. Um, I, I just think we will we'll just approach the game exactly the same way that we've done for the past week. But, I mean, going and play our last game um, in the Eastern Cape, we would, we would really like to use the opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for all our supporters and the people that, that made it special for us this year. There was a time where um, we started to play well and, and, and the players just respond or the people just responded by, by running a campaign and, and supporting us and that, that made a huge difference. I mean, to, uh, um, at the start of the season we, we, we set goals in the sense where we said that we want to win a South African side, we, we want to get the people back on the, in the stadium uh, um, and uh, we've exceeded all of that. Um, and uh, to see those happy faces and see a, uh, a franchise of, of, of happy people and, and, 
inspiring youngsters and, and feeling good about themselves and, and having something to strive for again, feeling proud about that that's that special moments that that uh, that is more than than, than the score on the uh, on, on the scoreboard at the end of the day. What kind of legacy do you think the Kings will leave for this tournament? The legacy that we that we have said to them today, um, if you in the situation that we are now, is that uh, um, this will be the last Southern Kings team that ever play a Super Rugby game. And if people look back at this team, they will look back at this team. They will look back at the individuals um, in terms of the skill that they exhibit, the passion, the pride, the heart, the soul um, that, they've, that they've showcased. Um, um, and, and, and the fact that um, irrespective of what happened in life, um, if, you, if, if your dreams are strong and you put in the proper hard work and you do things for the right reasons uh, and, and people, uh, um, you understand that you are here to serve and you, you're not here on your own, you're here to, to give you all. If you, can, if you can carry those values into a society or into a team and, and people gain inspiration out of that, then that is the legacy that we want to leave. Yeah, uh, just not to, to look negative maybe, but um, after next week, if, if you guys do go ahead and play in Europe, etc., uh, does it mean rebuilding from scratch? Because it seems the uncertainty has, has almost made it that a lot of the guys <coughs> have chosen other places. Yeah, unfortunately, that is, that is what's going to happen. Um, I mean, I've never in my life had the opportunity to, this level, to work with a team for more than one, two seasons um, consecutively. So it's, uh, it's, it's tough mentally and physically to, to start all over again and put things in place. But um, yeah, if it's, uh, it's, a, if it's a worthy course and, and, and we can have the same result in the same situation that we have here tonight, then so be it, then we must, then we must do it. Kieran, um, it's obviously very disappointing to not be in Super Rugby next year, but do you feel that this might be a, a step in the right direction in terms of some certainty for, for rugby in the Eastern Cape? And maybe from now, if your future does lie in Europe and, and for how many, how many years that might be, maybe now you can actually start building a team that will last more than just 12 months. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, in order for you, if you go into, a, into an international competition, uh, you can't have the situation where you just consistently recruiting players from elsewhere. You can start out like that, but somewhere you've got to put a sustainable structure in place, building from junior level. Right up to academy, into your into your senior squads, junior and senior elite squads, and and hopefully this will be the this will be the the point where we can start and and, and just continue uh, um, putting the, the 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 effort to 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 get Eastern Province rugby sustainable and build a build a franchise which I believe that in 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 a few years can be can be an excellent example of 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 of, of starting from nowhere and, and, and working into something special. I don't know what's been a standout moment or a moment that put a month for this team or about the season. It's a tough one, Mata. Um, no, um, I just have to say that, reiterate what Coach said, it's a, it's a bunch of guys that, that want to come out, that want to win rugby games. We said in the beginning of the season we weren't satisfied with the way we, we started out the season. And it was only testament to the character and the personalities of the team that wanted to come out and win rugby games. And we said we just wanted to win one game. And once we got that, the mental shift was there for us to move on, get wins, wins, wins. We fell off the wagon again by losing a couple of games and now we've won consecutive games again. So I just want to, like, it's just the character of the team is just phenomenal. Like, like Coach said, it's just guys that have really embraced the opportunity. Um, that have really wanted to win, win rugby games and go out and play for each other and, and be passionate about what we do and enjoy what we do. Um, I think it's lost sometimes in a professional environment where you forget to enjoy and play rugby. You need to go out there and play rugby and express yourself on a level where you challenge yourself to play at a higher standard, at a higher level, and that's what the guys have done and they've, they've really embraced it. Mm. Lana, you've, um, you've moved around a lot. I mean, you've very well travelled guy as well, but um, you seem to, to be very at home in this team. Your rugby is probably the best that most of us have seen you play. Um, just what has been the difference? 
exactly what I've just said. The credit to the team, the guys that have embraced the way I want to play, the way that the guys next to each other want to play. They've really just created an environment where it's positive, where the team culture wants to be with each other and strive for excellence and and play at a higher level and enjoy it. Like I said, do not get carried away by the, the just the professional environment where the pressure's there, 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 there all the time. It's just about going out and, and playing and challenging yourself and understanding as well that you know there's so much talent in South Africa, not just in the Eastern Cape, throughout the whole of the country. Mm. And the guys just need to go out there and, and play positive rugby and, and like I said, just enjoy the game of rugby again. And that's what we've done. What do you say next to the team? What do I say next week? Yeah, team. It's the last bloody game and we've got to win it. <laughs> <laughs> At home, yeah. it's the last Super Rugby game. Can, can we end on that one? Because I know these gentlemen... Yes. Uh, uh, just lastly, from a personal point of view, I just want to also express my condolences to, to the Fredericks family, Sally Fredericks family, on his passing. Um, I mean, as a young as a young boy, I've watched uh, the legend play for for, for Sarah. and um, at this point in time, it's, uh, we think about them and um, just some part of this game also dedicate to to his legacy that he left. Thanks.